Uh, Barry Fodor, uh, my wife Deborah. We own this 1953 Good Humor ice cream truck. It uh, was originally built in uh, New Jersey, assembly plant, shipped to uh, North Carolina to an upfitter back in the 50s to have uh, it equipped for Good Humor uh, as an ice cream truck. We bought it in 2015 and uh, it took three years to restore it. Uh, the truck is uh, got its original 235 uh, inline six cylinder. It's a three speed manual transmission. All the graphics are all hand painted on uh, and all in uh, period correct uh, artwork. The truck won uh, People's Choice at the Hilton Head Concourse back in 2017. It's been a lot of fun. People love it. You won't see very many of them on the road. You see a lot more 60s vintage. Uh, at the end of their useful life, uh, Good Humor would destroy them because they didn't want anybody competing with them. So uh, that's why they're so scarce so far few between you know the basic powertrain is uh, chevy so you know readily available parts things to do uh, the biggest hassle we've had with it the compressor original compressor did go bad and uh, we had to replace it that took about four months uh, working through a company in italy that bought the original compressor company from the united states we had to work with them to uh, figure out what compressor to use and then trying to find someone that uh, knows about coal plates is really difficult and setting the pressures and so forth. We lucked out and found a, a fellow that knew all about them. And lo and behold, the coal plates actually were made here in Columbia, Tennessee back in the 50s. So uh, the company still exists in uh, coal, coal plates. And uh, so we, we made connections there. And uh, so it's fully, fully operational and uh, works great. It takes about 30 hours to cool down to minus uh, 27 and we're good for six, eight hours out on a day like this.